everyone, my name is Katie from the Hastings YMCA and this is Tai Chi Moving for Better Balance. This is for the beginners class. It is 45 minutes. We are currently practicing forms one through four, ending with wave hands like clouds. The next class we will learn something new, so yay! But until then, let's practice what we've got. If you need a chair, make sure it's a you know, 90 degree flat hard back chair so you don't squish into it or anything. If you don't need it, don't worry about it. Uh, it's not a big deal. All right, so let's start off. Uh, rolling those shoulders back. So you stand up nice and tall. Your shoulders are back. Your belly is in, your butt's tucked under. So you're standing tall to the world, strong, all that good stuff. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more deep breath in, and out. All right, let's look to the side as we continue matching our breaths, switch sides. or sorry, matching our breaths to our body's movement. And let's drag that chin along your collarbone as you continue. really tired, maybe you've just woken up, or you're really calm. Okay, now let's shake things out a little bit. Let's roll those shoulders back and back. You can go both at a time. You can alternate those arms if that is more comfortable. It is more comfortable for me, so that is what I'll do. If this feels good, you can make it bigger, leading with the elbows. If that is comfortable, lead with the hands and make it even bigger. <sighs> what I am finding lately is that I tend to lean on my elbows and I tend to sleep preferring one side. I'm a side sleeper. So my body, when it's asleep, it prefers one side. Let's reverse. And that is creating havoc on my shoulder. It is not a happy camper. And it's only because I am leaning on that shoulder so much every day. So if you find that you're having the same issues, stop leaning on your shoulders. <laughs> Try to stop, at least when you're awake, and move them around as much as you can. Move them around, get the kinks out. All right, shake those things out. Let's have some ankle circles. So choose a foot, circle that foot around. Oh my God. For those who are used to me in class, like in person, they know I yawn so much. Reverse, it's not because I don't get enough sleep. I just, I yawn. I yawn. I'm sure that actually points to my not getting enough sleep, but 
What are you going to do? Right? Go to bed earlier? I do. All right, shake that leg out. Let's do the other side. Circle, circle, circle. My phone keeps buzzing. <laughs> and it's, I'm filming this video on Easter. Everybody's asleep right now, and it's on Easter. So I'm getting happy Easter messages on my phone, reverse, which is weird because you guys are going to see this on Tuesday after Easter. <laughs> so did you have a good Easter? I have no plans. It's freezing outside. <laughs> oh, my plans record the video. Here we go. Enjoy time with the family. All right, shake that foot out, shake those legs out. We are going to have your heel to the front and then toe to the front. Usually it's back, up and back this time. Heel and toe, heel and toe. Just worrying about that foot and all of your weight should be on that standing leg. If you need your chair for balance, mine's just out of reach. But I hope yours isn't. Three, two, and toe. One, two. All right. Shake those legs out. Let's get that other side. Heel and toe. Just doing the front. <sighs> Ignoring the rest. We're right here. You are with me. Whoa. The power went blink, blink. <laughs> so if my room goes dark suddenly, well, I hope my other lamp will work because that's just freaky. I'm in the basement. The door is closed. There are no windows because it's a tornado shelter as well. If the light goes off, it's going to be pitch black. Three. Very scary. Two. And one, release, shake those legs out. Alrighty, we're switching those legs again. This time, you haven't done this yet, we're gonna make a crescent moon with our leg. So you're going to switch your legs to get an, a fresher one, not entirely fresh, but fresher. You're going to bring that heel to the front and a little out to the side, bring the toe into your ankle, and then toe back and out. So you see my arm is doing the same thing as my leg. You don't have to do that with your arm. I'm just trying to show you what my foot is doing. Yeah? If this is too fast for you, don't worry about it. You can go slower. You can use that chair to help you. If you feel comfortable with this movement, and your balance is right on, smooth things out. And then you are not taking that step in the middle. Oh, my hip is feeling this now. How does your hip feel, your standing leg? It should be getting tired. Three, to the back. Two, back. And one, take it back and rest it in the middle. Oh, pat that hip. It did a great job. Shake that leg out. All right, we're gonna switch sides now. So it's heel out to the front and a little bit to the side. Toe in, toe back and out. In, out, in, out. You can go as slow as you want, that's fine. It's not a speed thing, slow is good. Fast, not so much, we're not in a race. Fast is not what we're looking for in this class. Slow and steady, we're all turtles here. No rabbits, no rabbits. Even though it's Easter for me, <laughs> no rabbits. No rabbits want to brave the weather. It's cold. Cold, cold, cold. And 
And if you want to smooth things out, maybe you already started smoothing, maybe not. My hip is starting to burn on that standing leg. Fight through it. If you need to take a break, go for it. But try to power through it unless it hurts like sharp, ouchy pain. Three. And two. And one. Take it back. Rest in the middle. Oh, shake it out. Ugh. We are going to switch legs again. We're actually going to alternate sides. So if you want to just drop off what your arms are doing, that's fine. Otherwise, you're going to lift one leg up with that arm and then the other side. As I said, if you need a hand for your chair, just ignore that arm. Keep it right by your chair. What matters is you're picking your knee up off the floor, so you're standing single leg for a while. All right, let's do this. We lift it up and down, switching sides every time, up and down. We got three here. I'm counting one for each side, yep. This is four. We have four more each side, four. And three. If you're looking at my leg and you're like, how does she get her leg up so high? Don't, don't do what I'm doing then. Keep it lower. And rest. I say that and then I'm all done. <sighs> you can always back up the video and try again. Okay, uh, I don't need that yet. I'm gonna move this out of my way a bit. All right. We are going, we've barely worked our arms. So what we're going to do, our legs are about hip width apart. You can still have your chair. I'm just moving it out of my way. You're going to distribute your weight side to side. I know your legs are already tired from what we just did. So we're going to add our arms in nice and quick. Going a nice slow pace. Match up your breathing to your body. to the middle, drop those arms down, and lift it up to the face, inhaling and exhaling, bending those knees, inhale as you bring it up and straighten, and exhale, down and bend, up, and down. One more, up, keep it up here now, and bring it out to the side, and in, out, and back in. You should be inhaling as you bring it out, really filling up that belly and chest, exhaling as you come back in. One more out, and back in, and down. Ugh. All right, my arms are feeling a lot warmer now. Okay, we're gonna start the forms. If you wanna sit and do it in your chair, that is totally fine. If you want to stand assisted and using your chair, again, totally fine. If you don't wanna use your chair, get rid of it. <laughs> And that is totally fine. Okay, 
Let us roll those shoulders back so you're standing nice and tall. It's just the one roll. Inhale and exhale. Again. You should hear that breath as you exhale. Getting all that negativity out of your body. Get rid of them. Okay. Are you ready? Let's open up this form. Stepping left. Heel toe. Arms up to the face. And come back in to hold your ball. You ready? Hold the ball. We preload. And step left. Heel toe. Step back in. Preload, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. You should be getting pretty good at this form. You've been doing it for quite a while. We are halfway through the program. Halfway. One more, inhale, and exhale. And let's get back to that starting position. Part the wild horse is made. We preload, left foot comes forward, left arm is up. You should be able to see your palm. Heel up and back, toe up in front, and step forward. Preload, right foot forward, right arm is up, heel, and toe, and step. I'm gonna back up. Twice more, each side, preload, left foot forward, heel, and toe, step. And preload, heel, and toe, and step. One more time each side. We preload, inhale, and exhale as you step. Maybe inhale here, and exhale. Last time, preload. Heel up and back. My foot is cut off in the video, sorry. And step. Single whip. Now I'm backing up. I ran out of space. Back it up. All righty. We preload. Grab that bell. Left side comes across 45 degrees. Little push. Notice I still have those bends in my elbows right in there. Yeah. Heel up and back. Adjust that toe back to the front. Step forward. Preload. Grab that bell. Right side comes across, 45 degrees, heel up and back. Adjust that toe back to the center and step forward. Good job. Preload, grab the bell, 45 degrees, heel and adjust the toe and stepping forward. One more. Now that's only the second, isn't it? I forgot, I forgot my count. <laughs> Thought that was only the second one. I've come up quite a bit though. Anyway, I'm gonna take a step back. Wave hands like clouds, just cause I forgot my count. Oh well, it happens. You preload, that left arm comes up. You see, uh, what is it, your right hand? can wave at the TV, the computer, whatever, wave at me. And your left hand, that palm is facing your back arm. They just slide across each other. Your right hand is gonna clean that table. Your left hand is palm towards your face, like you're looking in the mirror. You're going to step left for one. Upper body comes across, step in and switch those arms, same thing. Palms pass by each other. Reset that upper body, just the upper body. Palms pass by each other. Your left arm is on top. Travel left for two. 
Step in, always step in. Switch those arms. Come back across. Switch those arms. Your left arm is on top again. Can you see your top palm? Or is your forearm twisted? You should see your palm. Travel left for three, last time. Step in. Switch those arms. Now your right arm is on top and you're gonna follow it. Back to the right. Travel for one. Switch those arms. Reset that upper body so you can do it again. Switch the arms. Traveling right for two. Heel toe. And step on in, toe heel. Switching the arms. Reset. Switch. Traveling right for three. Holding the ball in the middle as you step in. Good job. Do we want to do it again? Let's do it again. We're just going to do this one again and again and again. All right. Preload. Left arm comes up. Travel left. Heel toe. Stepping in is toe heel. Switch those arms. Come back across. Switch the arms. Travel left for two. Toe heel. Stepping in. Oh, sorry. Travel left, heel, toe. Step again, toe, heel. Blah, blah, blah. I need more coffee. Where's my coffee? All right, switching those arms one last time. Travel left, heel, toe. Stepping in, toe, heel. There we go. Switch arms. Your right arm is on top. Yes. If it's not, make it so. All right, traveling back to the right. Heel, toe. Coming across. Stepping in, switch those arms, reset that upper body. Switch them again, traveling right for two. Switch those arms, reset. Switch them again, travel right for three and hold your ball in the middle. Let's do it again, because I flubbed, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Where did I flub? I said toe heel instead of heel toe when that first step. So preload. Your left arm is up, your right is down. Step left, heel toe. Stepping in, toe heel. Reset. Switch those arms. Walking, heel toe. Toe, heel, switch the arms, reset. Things are going a little more smoothly. Switch. Last time, traveling left for three. Stepping in, switch those arms. Now travel back to the right for one. Switch the arms, reset. Switch the arms, travel right for two. Switch, reset, switch, travel right for three, hold that ball in the middle. Good job. I know you did a good job. We're going to finish this up. So X, up and down, shake things out. How are your shoulders doing? How's your back doing? Now is the time when you would take a break, so either you can pause this video, take your break, come back in a less than five minutes, please. Not 10 minute break, not 15 minute break, about a five minute break. If you really need 10 minutes, okay, you can go for it. That's okay. But come back. Usually this program has hour long classes and they would have a 10 minute break. Um, we tried it and we decided we didn't really need a full 10 minutes all at once. So we decided to make it a 45 minute class, have a five minute break in and maybe another break depending on what I'm seeing with the participants. I can't see you in this case. 
So you need 10 minutes, you take your 10 minutes. If you need an extra break later, you take that extra break. All right, I'm gonna stretch out my back. So my hands are on my thighs. I avoid my knees, no on the knees. Thighs, cat and cow pose. So you arch your back into cat, stretching it out, and then you're going to scoop it under oh, in cow pose. You can make sounds, and you're just gonna repeat. If you wanna see from the side what it looks like, your back is scooped under, under in cow, and it's arched in cat, chin is into your chest, and then it comes out. And arch. Your shoulders are always down away from your ears. All right. Let's finish that up. One arm comes on the outside of your legs. Next stretch. You're going to twist toward that side as far as is comfortable for you. You're still sitting tall and proud and strong, right? Your shoulders are down away from your ears. Nice, gentle breathing. In my world, everything is nice. So I know I will, I will overuse that word. Release, let's get that other side. Sitting tall, nice and tall. And release. All right. This one, it's all optional, but I want to say in particular this one is optional. You're going to have a bit wide feet apart to stretch out your back. If, you, if this is not comfortable, don't do it, of course. <coughs> Sorry. You are going to slide down. You can let your head hang and gently shake it out if you want. You only go as far as is comfortable for you. If you are pregnant and trying this, if you just widen those feet so you can get your belly past there, accommodate the little baby. If you just have a belly and are not pregnant, I have a belly, it's okay. You do the same thing. Hmm. Totally fine. And slowly sit it up, vertebrae by vertebrae, leaving your head for last. When you get to the top, roll those shoulders back. Keep that blood flowing. Keep it going. Ooh, sorry. Okay, what is next? Hopefully, everyone has had their break and our backs are all nicely stretched out. Let's have some leg strengthening exercises. Yes. You're like, no, this is a balance class. Oh, but if we work the muscles in our legs and our bellies, it helps with our balance. It's all connected. Just like the circle of life from the Lion King. It's all connected in the circle of body. All right, so you are going, I'm gonna get my phone because I can't see those tiny little numbers on the computer. <sighs> I'm using a timer on my phone. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that right there. Maybe I can touch it with my toe. What I'm going to do, I'm going to back up. You want your hand on your thigh. 
Do whatever you want with your other hand. One hand goes on your thigh. You're going to try to lift that leg up. At the same time, you're going to push it down. So you will feel resistance. You'll feel it in your arm. You'll feel it in your leg. Your hip flexors are where your body bends in half. You'll feel it there. So let's start it. And you're just going to hold it, okay? Yep. Come on. Turn on. There we go. And let's wait. Three, two, one. Let's lift. Try to push that leg down as you pull it up. <sighs> Breathing, sitting tall still. Three, two, one, release. We're gonna do it the other side. In three, two, one, lift. This is so good for strengthening your muscles in your legs and arms, and in your belly. And release. Shake it out. We're going to have our hand on the outside. You want to try to pull your leg to the outside as you try to push it back in. Harder is to get that foot off the floor. Easier is to leave it toward the floor, okay? All right, in three, two, one. Let's go. Push it out and push it in. I'm going to lift that foot off the floor. It also gets more. You're, you should feel this in your obliques and your abdominal muscles. Four, three, two, rest. Shake it out. We're going to get that other side. In three, two, one. Breathe. Four, three, two, and rest. Good job, good job. All right, hand on top of your thigh. We're going to do it one more time. In five, four, three, two, lift. We're doing it all over again. You're still breathing, right? Right? Because you have five seconds left. Three, two, one, release. Ah, shake it out. We're going to get that other side in three, two, up. Up, up, up. Push and push and push and. Keep it up, keep it up. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and release. Hand on the outside of your thigh now. You ready? And push. Push. The first round I tried to go for 15 seconds. This round I'm going for 20. In five, four, three, two, rest. Last time, you got that other leg. Three, two, Let's go. Push, 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 push. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and release. Ah, oh, shake those legs out. Woo. All right, take some nice loose fists. I want you to gently beat yourself up. Keep going, keep going. I just turned off my alarm, or not my alarm, stopwatch. I'm only worried about your legs right now because you just worked the muscles pretty big time. Pretty big time. That's. All I can do is shake my head at my own grammar sometimes. It's ridiculous. All right. Showing those muscles some love. Good job. Okay. What time do we have? It, I can't see. 35. Okay. Got 10 more minutes. You can do this sitting down. You can do it standing up. We're not going to worry about our legs. 
This is an arm thing. We already got our legs. Oh, no, that's what I mean. No, no, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. You are going to place one palm down toward the floor. Your other, like in single whip, where you grab your bell, your other is in that same hand position. Let me get closer. So you have your pinky to the thumb, ring finger, middle, and index, and you're like holding that. That is the position you want for your traveling arm. So, palm toward the floor. You're gonna pull up, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and wave hello. And down. Switching sides now. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, hello. And down. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling, calming down. If going that high with your arm hurts, then don't go so high, right? <coughs> keep going, keep going. Say one more each side, okay? Last time. Hello. Who should I say hello to? One more each side this time. I lied before. Because I'm going to say, hello, Barbara. You were the only one who said something to me last time. Thank you. I noticed. I paid attention. And... Hello, Kay. Maybe you're watching. I hope so. You should be. All right. Shake those arms out. <clears throat> Palms are up. You're going to pull that drawer in. Bring your arms around the body. The backs of your hands meet in the middle in front. And you flip. Bring it in as you inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Bring it in. And since I don't really want to ignore people at all, I don't want to ignore people at all, then I say hello to Angel as well. Which angel? There were two angels. The one with the two boys. I will say hello to the other angel as well, but I didn't actually see you by the time I subbed, so I don't know if you are worse still wanting to do this. It's all good. So hello to Angel and the two boys. And the woman who was with you, I don't remember your name, if I ever got your name. Maybe you can tell me what your name is. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Leave comments below. And let's relax, shake it out. <clears throat> This one, you will need your chair, or sorry, you will not need your chair. If you do want your chair, then how to do it. It's Tai Chi walking. How to do it without the chair. Well, you can just move your feet up and back, of course. So, <clears throat> you're standing, feet are close, relatively close. You remember that crescent moon that we practiced? We're going to try some Tai Chi walking with that crescent moon, or it's a letter C if you prefer that. So, you always start with your right leg. You're gonna bring that, it's already in, so you're gonna bring it out, just like you did with the crescent moon. Place that full foot on the floor. So it's a step, heel, toe. You're gonna distribute your weight forward and back. And then as you come forward, you step in. If you need that extra step, take it for balance. And then come out, heel toe, forward, and back. And you're going to come step in with that right foot again. And bring it out, heel toe. 
You can leave your feet placed firmly on the floor, or you can be lifting your feet up. Either way, it's okay with me. <clears throat> and you distribute your weight forward and back, and as you step in, bring that leg in and out. Notice I smoothed things out that time. In and out. So you're just walking forward. If you run out of space, come back and start over. Forward and back. You can do what you want with your arms. This is what's comfortable for me. If you want to hold them behind, if you want them at your sides, that's fine. I'm coming back. You may notice that, I don't think you can see very well, but you may think that I'm taking a really big step. It's not all that big for my leg length. So this would be a normal step for me. If you prefer to step in a lot closer, smaller step, you go for it. You're also gonna have a smaller knee bend See, that's a pretty small step, or even less, it's okay. So long as you have about hip width between your legs. You don't wanna do that, that's a really small center of gravity. You can fall over. The wind is gonna knock you over. It's Nebraska. We gotta keep a, wide, a nice wide base so we don't get blown over by the wind, right? All right, I don't know where you are in this anymore. <laughs> We're just going forward, back. Standing nice and tall as we go. <clears throat> Brace yourself against the wind, have that nice wide base. Just about hip width apart, that's all you need. And I'm running out of space again. Okay. You shake yourself out. And now you are going to need your chair. <clears throat> We're done. We are just going to rest and relax. You can place the hands on your thighs, clasp them at your sides, eyes op open or closed. Whatever is most comfortable for you, so long as you're sitting tall and not slouched over. You want to sit tall, use those muscles for good posture. And you're inhaling and exhaling. Regular and slow. Place your hands on your belly. Is your belly expanding as you inhale? Or is it your chest or your shoulders? I'll be okay with chest, not shoulders. If your shoulders are going up and down, that is the most shallow kind of breathing. We're aiming for belly breathing. If you get chest breathing instead, I am okay with that. It does not matter how you or inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, that sort of thing. That doesn't matter in this class. So long as you are breathing. <laughs> that sounds silly, but mm -hmm. we are merely aiming for the deep breathing. Focus is on your breathing. You should you should hear that exhale. Okay. 
It may sound corny to some people, but in high school, I read a meditation book, and they said when you inhale, imagine golden air coming into you. When you exhale, all the black air is leaving you. So in with positivity, out with negativity. Some of you may not like that. I can think of many, um, negative comments to go to, you know, that people could say about that. But I, I will admit, I like that imagery. Inhale, gold, positive air. Exhale, all that black, nasty tar like poop. Maybe your golden air sparkles like a unicorn. I don't know. My unicorns are kind of lethal, so I like unicorns. Rolling those shoulders back. Waking up. If your eyes are closed, gradually open them. The room might seem a bit bright right now. Shake those arms out. We're going to slowly stand up one arm at a time. So you want to follow that arm. So you lean forward as your arm comes up. You lean back as it goes back. Forward and back and three. And let's switch arms. So you go one, your feet are flat on the floor right now. Two, follow that arm. Three, both arms standing up a little bit. One, and sitting down. And two, last time go all the way up. All the way up, all the way up, yeah. And shaking it out. All right, I hope you had a good time, a good lesson. I hope that you are making as much progress as you want to make. Of course, you got to practice if you want to make the progress. If you're not practicing, then what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, I will see you next time. Well, I'll see you next time. And um, I hope you have a good week. All right, see you later. Bye.